Okay, when? Okay. Got it. Yep. Yeah, right to right to start. All righty. Good afternoon, councillors, and uh, anybody on live stream, anybody watching, and senior staff that are in the in the chamber. Uh, first of all, I'll apologise for not being able to make it in there. I'm having vehicle trouble, so uh, my apologies. But we uh, uh, have a leave of absence. Do we have a leave of absence? We have leave. I guess Councillor Schumacher. Yep. Henshin and Mayor. Okay, so I'll move that uh, leave of absence be granted. Do we have a seconder? Councillor Duff. I'll let you. Yep, Councillor Duff. All those in favour. Unanimous, thank you. Uh, go to Councillor Duff for the acknowledgement of the traditional owners. Councillor Duff. Thank you, Deputy Mayor Jones. I'd like to acknowledge country and the land where we meet today, the Wakwaka land, and acknowledge the elders both past, present and emerging. Thank you. Thank you. Item four, declaration of interests. Uh, as always, uh, if you've got any declarations there now that you are aware of, if not, and you come across one during the meeting, feel free to uh, acknowledge and alert the uh, CEO and we can deal with it then. Any declarations of interest? No. Okay, business, budget parameters and timelines. The officer's recommendation that the budget parameters and timelines report for the 23-24 annual budget be received and any adjustment to timelines or parameters be provided to finance for use in the budget preparation. Uh, do we have a mover? Councillor Duff and Councillor Potter. Councillor Duff, Councillor Potter second. Any, uh, any comments, conversation before we go to the vote? Um, acting Chair, the only one I did think is um, after having read the after the word received, if with the move in second, just received for information. I probably missed that in the rush on Friday to, to get that in there. So Yeah, okay. Councillor Duff, Councillor Potter, you happy with that? Yes, I'm happy. No further comments, we'll go to the vote. All those in favour? Unanimous, thank you. 5.2, infrastructure. Operational consultants and contract engineers. The officer's recommendation that the council note this report. Do we have a mover? Councillor Potter. I can't see the whole chain. Yeah, Councillor Potter. Potter. Yeah, put up a hand. So you're up to a seconder. Seconder. Councillor Erkins. Councillor Erkins, comments? No comments. All right, we'll go to the vote. Those in favour? Oh, hang on, Chair. There's a light yeah. on. Chair. Sorry? There's a light on. Councillor Duff. Councillor Duff. Uh, I, <clears throat> uh, through you, Mr Mayor, just um, Deputy Mayor, just thought I would um, ask um, General Man Manager Meehan to comment on this particular item. Thank you. Yeah, through the Chair. Happy to, Councillor Duff. Um, we just put a summary there with the budget. We did have a discussion around the review on some of the consultant costs that we have. Um, so we just put some comments there. Our, um, in line with our previous budget workshops of what those consultants are, are, um, are doing in those groups, particularly in relation to, to James's areas there. So I've just put a summary there and I've also put some comments there from Kevin. Um, obviously, with his budget at the moment, um, we're seeing a, an increase in consultant costs in his OPEX, but that is largely offset by a cost in flood damage by our staff. So there is a change of, of um, development there. Also, with the additional works that we're seeing coming at the moment with some of our larger OPEX programs, uh, we're rolling that out. So it doesn't result in an increase in budget. The budget will stay the same. Um, it was just there to note to council that we had done a review through those, and we'll look at them every each quarter when it comes through, if that's okay. Um, uh, th through you, um, Deputy Mayor, I just wanted to yep. thank to thank um, to thank General Manager uh, me, and I can see that there's been a, a decrease in um, consultants. So, in the in um, that General Manager Jarvis has just highlighted in the notes. So that's good to see. So you're yeah, um, obviously um, pleased to see that um, we were able to make a reduction rather than um, and we can everything's on track. So that's really good. Um, so I just want to thank you. 
Yeah, no, all good comments. Okay, so is there any further comments before we go to the vote? If not, go to the vote. All those in favour? Unanimous, thank you. 5.3, first quarter income statement. Uh, the officer's recommendation that the first quarter operational budget information be received for information. Do we have a mover? Councillor Potter. Councillor Potter, second. Councillor Duff. Councillor Duff, comments, questions before we go to the vote? Chair, it's, it's probably worth noting that on the ordinary agenda too, if, if councillors... Um, pick up something. The first quarter review is going to Wednesday's ordinary meeting, um, so there will also be uh, opportunity to review and, and then follow up on Wednesday as well with any questions. No, that'll be that'll be good. A bit more time to work it through, but the, the reports that have been put forward are, are pretty good, so pretty self-explanatory, I think. So uh, no further comments? If not, we'll go to the vote. All those in favour? Unanimous, thank you. 5.4, continued projects and restricted cash 21-22 that the report be received and noted. Need a mover? Councillor Erkins. Councillor Erkins, seconded. Councillor Potter. Okay, questions or comments? No. Okay, we'll go to the vote. All those in favour? Unanimous, thank you. 5.5, first quarter capital expenditure review. The officer's recommendation that the first quarter capital expenditure budget for 22-23 be received and noted. Do we have a mover? Councillor Erkins. Councillor Erkins, seconded. Councillor Potter. Councillor Potter, questions, comments? If not, um, sorry, um, see you. Yeah, j just um, the, yep. the new proposed budget is obviously an increase. So I just wanted to um, just get some comments around that and, and how we're um, tracking just probably General Manager Jarvis. Thank you. Through you, um, Deputy Mayor, I was handed over to Kerry. These uh, projects have been um, were uh, were um, not completed in last year's um, uh, financial year, and since the um, cash reconciliation has been done, there we've identified these ones that to be completed in this current year. So I'll just um, let Manager Kerry explain the the detail. Um, that's involved in this. Oh, yes, thank you. Um, through the chair. Um, so yes, just to um, follow on from um, GM Jarvis, is that yes, um, around four and a half million of the increase are those, are those continued projects. So they are the ones from the prior year that are being restricted and finished up in this current year. Um, when we have a look at the first quarter column, so that's around 1.3 million. A majority of that is actually um, just readjusting and reconciling any of the grant funded programs, um, which could be, well, most of them are carried over from the prior year, but because they have that grant funding, we don't put them in under a, as a continued project that needs the um, funds restricted. So they're put in that column. Um, we also have put out to the side um, a column that shows whether the adjustment that has been made in first quarter has gone through a council resolution, just so that way council can easily identify the ones that they've already seen that they've um, had a discussion on prior. Yeah. Um, yep, so, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, through you, Mr. Deputy Mayor. I'll just add to that as well. One of the May, the a 2.6 million you'll see is plant and fleet that has been brought into this financial year. The reason for that, they have been ordered, they've won the contracts, but unfortunately due to that delivery date, um, that's why it looks as if there's such a large amount there, but technically it, the money has been spent, but it's not recognised until we actually make the payment. So we don't make the payment until the actual delivery of the vehicle. So that's really all it has been costed out technically. Thank you. 
Um, through you, Deputy Mayor, you know, yeah, obviously no cause for concern, so thank you. Yeah, so am I correct in hearing that, um, Susan and Kerry, that 2.6 mil from fleet, 1.3 million carry over, 3.9 out of the 4.5? Is that, would that be fair? That, that's correct. Um, Deputy Mayor, yeah. and there again, like with some of those um, that plant there, there's <clears throat> something like 18 months delivery time frames on them. And like I'm saying, yeah. we can, even though they've won the tender, we have ordered them, we've committed the costs there, but we can't pay until we actually, as per uh, legislation, we can't pay until delivery of the actual plant. But it has really yeah. been expended, yes. Yeah, so that. Um so the next question, Susan or General Manager, would be the fact that um, uh, we've ordered them and they've uh, we've we've won the tenders and all the rest of it. So there'll be no concerns of uh, increased payment. The payment will stay the same. That's locked in for all the machines that we've purchased. Nothing will be increased. We've got no surprises coming. No, Deputy Mayor, um, through you, um, yeah. there's no surprise at all, and hence why we accepted that tender. So that made that uh, the contract there yeah. constant. It wasn't to be varied at all. Excellent. All righty. Any further questions on 5.5? If not, we've got the committee recommendation there, moved by Councillor Erkin, seconded by Councillor Potter, that the first quarter capital expenditure budget for 22-23 be received and noted. All those in favour? Unanimous, thank you. I don't believe we've got anything in confidential, Mr CEO. No, thanks, Chair. So that brings us to item number seven, closure of the meeting at 1.14pm. And thank you all for attending and enjoy the remainder of your day. And as Mr CEO said and highlighted earlier, all this can be discussed again at the uh, general meeting on Wednesday. Thank you. Thanks.